In 2002, the Prestige oil spill off the coast of Spain released over 60,000 tons of oil. More than 1,000 kilometers of coastline were polluted. Oil spreads fast and sticks to everything. Even after surface cleanup, much of it sinks or dissolves below. Oil poisons marine life. It damages gills, feathers, eggs, and coral reefs. Recovery can take decades. Manual cleanup is slow and incomplete. Booms, skimmers, and dispersants have limited impact, especially in open sea. That's why scientists began looking for biological solutions, methods that use living organisms to clean up. In seawater, some bacteria have evolved to use oil as a food source. They break it down using natural enzymes. Each species plays a specific role. Some start breaking down simple compounds. Others finish the process by removing toxic residues. They weren't invented in a lab. These microbes already exist in the ocean and become active when oil appears. One of the most studied oil-degrading microbes is Alkanidrax borcumensis. It plays a key role in the early stages of bioremediation. Thalassospira lucentensis is another marine bacterium. It doesn't eat crude oil directly, but helps clean up the toxic leftovers. After an oil spill, Alkanivorax can make up more than 90% of the local oil-degrading microbial population. Together, Alkanivorax and Thalassospira form a microbial team. Fast and slow, simple and complex, both crucial. In the 1989 Exxon Valdez spill, scientists added nitrogen and phosphorus to boost oil-eating bacteria. It worked. Microbial cleanup began within days. During the Deepwater Horizon disaster, Alcanaborax and similar bacteria dominated early microbial communities in the deep sea plume. In the Baltic Sea, natural seeps of oil have led to stable populations of hydrocarbon-degrading bacteria, even without major spills. Studies in Indonesian coastal waters have found native bacteria with similar oil-degrading traits, including Alcanaborax and Thalassospira. Across different oceans and disasters, one pattern repeats. When oil spills, microbes respond, and they help. Because they live in oceans worldwide, these microbes can be activated wherever spills occur, with the right support. Microbes help, but they're not a silver bullet. They work best alongside physical cleanup and chemical dispersants. Bioremediation takes time. Fast-growing species like Alkanivorax need at least seven days. Others take weeks. Microbial efficiency depends on temperature, salinity, oxygen, and nutrients. Harsh conditions can limit their impact. Bioremediation must be monitored. Microbial growth, oil degradation rate, and water quality must all be tracked. Bioremediation is now part of international oil spill response strategies. It's included in contingency plans worldwide. Progress relies on teamwork between microbiologists, oceanographers, chemists, and engineers. Every day, giant tankers cross the oceans. With them comes the risk of oil spills, an unavoidable reality of modern life. Too often, it is our own activity that pushes the ocean to its limits.